Yeah, I was looking to look at the seals if I could. Yeah, absolutely. They're all just in these little bags here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. You're welcome to open them up. I'll take some more. Okay. Pizza. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very careful with these kind of things. Absolutely. I have a couple of smash bars that I just took out of these. If you want to look at them, so I'll okay. take that out. Yeah. Of course, if you want the one in the bag, I'll, you can open it up. And trying to meet everybody. You got a YouTube channel as well? I do, yeah. Adam, nice to meet you. What's the name of your channel? Phoenix Resale. Phoenix Resale? Yep. In Arizona? No, I... Uh, like the bird? Common mistake. Yes, the bird. That's what I'm named after. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Okay. So 70... Are you just a full-time reseller or just for your I channel? am, yeah. Uh, I've been doing oh. it full-time for a couple years now. Okay. So... Yeah, we just opened June 1st. Uh, so that's all new for me. That's amazing. Uh, this oh, yeah. was, let's see, and, uh, 20... 25% his personal collection. Yeah. 30% his personal inventory. Like, cause he, he was a reseller. And then 50% my personal collection. Yeah. And then some cash. And that was how we got the store. That's awesome. Because, uh, are you, where are you from originally? Lexington, Kentucky. Okay. Right. See, and I like that you specify Lexington, Kentucky, because mm -hmm. anytime anybody tells me Lexington, I say, oh, Kentucky, and they're like, no, South Carolina. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I should assume we are in South Carolina. Right. The only Lexington I know is in Kentucky. These things are just climbing in price. They just keep yeah. going up. And they're probably gradable. Most yeah, good. that's, I'm trying to learn the grading process right now, so I'm looking a lot at sealed stuff. Yeah. So, I, I love the prospect that be, of it. That would be a double plus seal, probably like a You think? Five, probably like those, are, those are tough. I've, I've sent some in. They're, they're hard to achieve. My buddy Ryan is a huge uh, Wada reseller guy. Oh, yeah? I remember that guy. Three years ago at the convention, he bought a Mario from me for 600 bucks. Sold it for 3500 once he got it graded. Crazy. And then he passed on Smash that we had. Yeah. Because it was a VGA 90. And he thought it would go down in Wada. Uh, Somebody else got one, created a Wada 9, sold it for 23000 Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah. And he passed on it for 850 Oh, that's hard. That one's probably the best one. So, okay. So you got plenty of smashes. Yeah. All right. I'm interested, I think, in these for sure. All right. On the fence a little bit about these. You said this one was probably the best? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you this. If you get a smash, I can do a little bit better on the price. Okay. Because I have so many. Yeah. But those I gotta be firm on, but you get a smash. So I these can... you're set on? Yeah. And okay. that one too, just because I could maybe do 150 on that. 150. The seal looks pretty nice. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. All right, 150 plus 145, so that's 190. So tell me, tell me if I could buy two of these. Would that help? Yeah, um, so we're at 190, is that 190, 295? I could do five for everything. So that'd be knocking $45 off of these. Off not of both total, of these? Not each, but total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd be looking at about a hundred a piece. I mean, I don't know if you looked up the price, but they even go for more than that. We just have it priced a little lower because of the fact that sure. we have well, five of them. So this would be 500? Yeah. All right, let me make the last ask. If I could do these, what do you think? I could do eight. Eight? Yeah, a hundred a piece on these. The only reason I say that is because we have a store now and people, you know, I can, yeah. I can probably get 125, but, you know, I'll give you a little bit of a break since you're spending a good bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you think about it, that's 75 off, so it's basically like you're getting that for free. But. Sure. Um, so I'd be at 800? Yeah. I think I'll go ahead and do that. You want to do it? Yeah. Let me, let me check and see if I... Uh, did I miss any sealed stuff? Let me ask that. Because, uh, I mean, like I told you, I'm trying to learn the water game. Yeah. Looking for, like, not incredible deals, but, you know, a little bit below yeah, market. Sealed. 
Okay. I can't break on this price though, just because of the fact that that's... 300 for Breath of the Wild Complete Sealed. Skyward Sword. Not Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword. Ready to rumble. This is a cheaper sealed one. Seal's not the best, but... Okay. Probably would pass on that guy. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> a little. Yeah. Um, this guy, I didn't see any major flaws. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Well, that, yeah, that one's got one in the corner. Shoot. Yeah. I'd probably have to pass on that. Yeah, I but, yeah. um, as far as these go, yeah. I'm looking at potentially the Pandoras and the Kirby. Could you swing me anything on that? Um, I could only knock five off of that, so 160 more on that, so you'd be a 960. Even if I'm buying almost a thousand bucks worth of stuff? I can do 950. 950? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. You wanna do that? Yep. 950 bucks for how many sealed games? A good, a good amount. <laughs> like 10. Dang. So, tell me what we could do for for this guy for cash. I think the last eBay sold was 70, if it helps. If, if you can show me that, I'll do that. Okay. Can do. Yeah, I can do, uh, I can do 70. Okay, that, that works for me. Wow. Wow, folks, I it's late in the day on the first day of the convention and I did not expect to be spending this much money at this point. I thought that I was going to be dropping most of my money late in the day tomorrow. But boy, getting all of these sealed games is very exciting because I've been having a lot of luck with these like couple generation old type of games like Wii and Wii U and PS3 kind of stuff that I've been sending into WADA and getting graded and selling mostly on eBay. I mean, for goodness sake, just today, I sold a player's choice version of Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube for $600. And not to mention, actually I think I did mention earlier, this game is currently at an auction of 620, so paying 155 for that was not too bad. Of course, I'm still going to have to pay between like, I think around 100 to get it graded, but if I can get it to sell in that neighborhood again, that's still going to be a solid profit on this guy. But I wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the other games that I bought because this purchase is one of the most exceptional ones I've honestly ever made because it was almost all sealed stuff. So first of all, we've got this Mario Kart Wii for 75. That's about what it goes for. And there were a decent number of sold comps for this game. Uh, graded like a 9.8, so graded really well, but for over $400, so I figured for the 70 or whatever that I ended up paying for this, that's an acceptable margin to me, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that. 70 bucks for Mario and Sonic 2012. This is a bit of a learning experience for me, a learning game. I didn't see any sold or listed comps for this game, so I'm gonna send it in and see what the heck it does. Again, uh, $70 for Legend of Spyro. This one, I was looking up the comps. I told him, hey, the last one sold for 70. Will you do 70? He said, if you can show me that that was the case, then I'll do it, and sure enough, he did. So, and that was 70 cash, so there was no tax on that. This one I'm really excited for, Pandora's Tower. This generally goes for the 100 or a little bit more dollar range on eBay. Brand new seal, the seal is in really nice shape. So I'm optimistic for this as well. Then we had how many copies? One, two, three, four, five copies of Super Smash Bros. Brawl that we got for $100 a piece. I just bought four copies of Smash Bros. I think for, it was either 40 or $60 a piece. So these ones definitely hurt a little bit more, but the comps on these were much more consistent. And this is just an, a completely beloved classic. Uh, so I'm pretty optimistic. The comps on these, by the way, we're going for over $400 as well. So if I'm spending $200 to get these graded all in, uh, I think there's still a solid amount of room there, and I think they should sell relatively quick, so I was okay doing that. Then one thing that you guys actually didn't catch that happened off camera was I realized that the Kirby game was actually the international version. When I saw it at first, it was kind of tucked in behind some other Wii games, and that part of the label was covered up. I've talked in other videos about not getting the international version for sealed games because they just don't hold as much value as the US versions. 
So when that happened, he had already ran my card. I was like, shoot, can I just find like $65 worth of other stuff and you know, hopefully make money on that? He was like, that's fine. And I was actually very happy with that because I found this, which was not brought out initially when I asked for sealed games. Super Mario Bros. U sealed on the Wii U, obviously, $60. I just sold this game recently, graded. It graded like a 9.6 for 350, so 60 bucks is just fine with me. I'll be about 160 all in for that one once it grades. And then because I spent so much money and there was still a $5 variance there, he just threw in this Zelda's Majora's Mask 3D. It's the Nintendo Selects version, but it is still sealed, so that's definitely more than a $5 value. And then just randomly, at the end, I spotted this on the table, Batten Kaitos, both discs on the GameCube for 35. This is like a $100 game on Amazon. So I was definitely happy to see that. I was like, let's throw that in too. But yeah, folks, I think we're going to be able to make a solid amount of money on these games. My wallet is feeling a little bit thinner, I have to admit, but I think in the long run, it's going to pan out very well. Oh, hey guys, future Caleb here. Well, future Caleb in reference to the Caleb in the rest of this video, but in reference to you guys, it's actually past Caleb because this video was filmed beforehand and uh, in reference to me right now, it's actually present Caleb. Anyways, I made a commitment to you guys at the very beginning of this channel to be painfully honest about the awkward and embarrassing mistakes that I am making in my resale journey. Because after all, it's easy to forget because I have a YouTube channel. Sometimes people assume that I'm some veteran or expert, but I've only been in the resale game for less than three years and less than two years full time. But Caleb, why, why are you saying all of this to us right now after you just made a massive purchase of sealed video games? Well, that's a great question, my astute viewer. And the reason is, I don't know if you guys remember this, but when I was buying all those copies of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I had meticulously inspected a couple of them, but when I saw him bring out the other three, I was so focused on trying to make a bulk bundle deal for all the games on the table, I totally forgot to inspect the seals on the other three. And to the vendor's credit, he did tell me up front that the two I had in my hand were the best seal quality. But again, because I was excited, it was a big deal, it was a lot of money, I was trying to get a discount, all this stuff. On these two copies, I did not open them up, take them out of the extra layer of plastic to inspect the seals. And lo and behold, on this guy, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, there's a tear that is probably the size of, I don't know, like half a half of a pea on the corner of this, which made me say, uh, probably not worth grading. And then this one is worst of all. There's just a big old chunk taken out of the seal on the back corner. And it looks like this actually at one point was hit by a box cutter. There's like a solid slice even on the plastic of the game itself. And ultimately, folks, when it comes to a purchase like this, I have no one to blame but myself. You can't blame the seller for something like this. It's really on me to inspect all of the goods that I'm buying. So the other three copies of Super Smash Bros. Brawl that I bought in this video, I actually already sent off to WADA. You guys may have seen that video or you may not have. I don't know when this is going to be posted. But unfortunately, I had to cut in here, had to be honest with you guys about what's happening with these because the truth is I'm going to have to list them on eBay and almost certainly sell them for a loss. And on that fantastic note, until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip. My wallet is crying.